what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and i'm uploading a video after a very long time because i was busy for the je advanced as there were many extra classes and all so today i got some free time and i thought to explain a good question for you some uh, many times students face difficulties in lc circuits or in lcr circuits they find it difficult to create to make the relevant differential equation and uh, how to solve it so here i have a question from lc circuits and uh, i will try to explain how will you find the charge on the capacitor at any time t and how you how you will be able to find out the current that is flowing through the circuit at any time t so here in this question there are two initially charged capacitors of 1 farad and 2 farads inductance is 5 henry initially c1 is charged by 50 volt and c2 is charged by 10 volts at t equals to 0 the switch is closed we need to find out the charge on c1 at any time t okay so let us draw the circuit once again i have already copied this one so initially the charge on capacitor c1 here it is plus 50 here it is minus 50 and on c2 on c2 here it is plus 20 and here it was minus 20 coulomb suppose at any time t q charge has left this plate of the capacitor okay so here we will have 50 minus q here we will have 20 plus q here we will have 20 minus q and here we will have minus 50 plus q okay so let us uh, write the polarities like this okay now if we consider a loop a closed loop we can write the voltage loop law here so we have 20 minus q by c for this capacitor as i am going from here to here so minus lower potential to higher potential if so v equals to charge on the inner surface of the positive plate divided by capacitance again from minus to plus 50 minus q divided by 1 it was 1 farad and again from plus to minus so minus l so the value of the inductor was 5 into di dt okay equals to 0 i will be equals to dq dt so we'll just put the value here so we have 10 minus q by 2 plus 50 minus q minus 5 d2q dd2 equals to 0 so 60 minus 3 by 2q minus 5 d2q dt2 equals to 0 so if we just rearrange this differential equation uh, so we have plus 3 by 2q minus 60 equals to 0 then d2q dt2 plus taking 3 by 2 common and divided dividing both side by 5 we'll get 3 by 10q minus 40 equals to 0 taking this whole term as q prime so we can write this whole thing like this and uh, let us take this one as omega square so that we can get a familiar differential equation so this differential equation is looks like an shm looks like a shm and we know the general solution of this equation is a sin omega t plus b cos omega t okay where q prime is q minus 40 omega t plus b cos omega t 
okay omega is nothing but root over 0 0.3 radians per second okay now we need to check one thing uh, that how can we find out the constants a and b we can find the constants a and b by using the initial conditions if you see the circuit here when you turn on the switch when you turn on the switch that the charge flowing through the whole circuit is zero that means at t equals to zero q is zero and also at t equals to zero the current is also zero <coughs> fine so now just use this boundary conditions and try to find out a and b so we have just using the first one we will get 0 plus b so b equals to minus 40 and using the second one if you differentiate both side you get dq dt equals to a omega cos omega t minus b omega sin omega t uh, at t equals to 0 dq dt is 0 and this will give you a omega minus 0 so as you know omega is not equals to 0 so a will be 0 so your final relation will become b is minus 40 cos omega t so charge flowing through the whole circuit at any time t is 40 minus 40 into 1 minus cos omega t so you got the charge flowing through the circuit at any time t but our question was to find out the charge present on this capacitor at any time t and uh, its answer will be 50 minus q okay so q1 that is charge on the capacitor 1 at any time t is 50 minus q t so that will give you 10 minus 50 sorry one minute 50 minus 14 to 1 minus cos omega t and that will be 10 plus 40 cos omega t so this is the charge on the capacitor c1 at any time t similarly you can find out the charge on capacitor c2 at any time t it will be 20 minus q you can also find out the energy stored in any one of the capacitors at any time t you can also find out the current flowing through the circuit at any time t by differentiating q okay so now you can easily just uh, find out any uh, param or any property or any value given in the question but the main thing is how you make this differential equation if you are able to draw make this differential equation and find out the final solution then the whole problem will be a just uh, cake walk for you okay so I suggest you to try similar kind of problems for from any book where you need to make your own differential equations and okay try to solve them and good luck for your exams in 2021 thank you